What's up YouTube? Today we're doing a tutorial on how to publish your map that you just created onto Epic with the new Creative 2.0 system using the Unreal Engine Editor. So let's get started. All right, so the first step you're going to want to go ahead and do is to get your map created, get all the settings set up. And most importantly, when it comes to setting up the settings, there is a couple different things that you can put in place to make it a little bit smoother and easier. You can actually launch the session by clicking launch session. It's actually going to be an important part of the actual process for it. So you'll definitely want to go ahead and click launch session to start. I'm going to go ahead and let that load. I'm going to pause right here. All right. And just like that, we are fully loaded now. So going back into what I was talking about, there is an important thing that you have to do every time to publish a map before you can be able to even do anything with it. What is that? That's going to be launching the project into a test code first. So you'll click upload to test code. Once that starts that process, it's going to go ahead and load. And then you got your, your test code right here. Um, a key important part about this, your maps can no longer have people test them out unless you invite them to the team and they're able to then edit the content with you. Because I, I found that out the hard way. I was wanting to like show someone my map and it did not happen that way. It would not let them in. But once you have the actual uh, test code put in, You'll have this pop up here like this and it'll show the most recent one that edited. See it's 1012, there's a timestamp right there. And then it's gonna say if it's published or not. So once you have that pulled up, what's gonna happen then is you're gonna get the second option which will say launch memory calculation. You have to do that before you're able to be able to continue on to the next step to publish it. So that is the most important thing when it comes to getting this done. So once you've done that, then you can go back up here to project and then click publish a project like this. Click continue. I'm not going to go ahead and let it continue because I've already I already published this map. But once it's done, then it's going to show up in your um, recent projects. So when you click on it right here, it'll it, like if it's still not like ready to go it's going to actually tell you the status of it. So let's say my project D real quick. If it's if it's public, it's going to say here. If it's not, it's going to say in private. And see, I haven't put in a, a public test code yet or try to publish it yet for that second map I have right there. So it's not going to show up. But that's what that's where it would show up. So once you have a, a green li green lighted project, this is what it will actually look like. Come in here to Click, click on the island that you, your project in the creator portal, and it will actually say if it's greenlit or not. So there's the code approved. It took them about an hour and a half to approve my code. So when you have private versions of it, it's going to show all the test codes right there. And then the ones that you've actually greenlit, like by doing the memory verification, it'll it'll change that status right here to saying that it is within the limits. So then at that point you can click publish and then it will pop up a, a page right here where you can then fill out the information. It's important to have four tags. You can upload your own image. Um, real quick here as well in this tutorial, I wanna show you something that you can do that most people don't understand. I didn't know this because I didn't, couldn't find it, but you can actually go in and drag images in into your map. First, what you'll do is you'll click on My Project, click Add Asset or Import. You then go into the image, put it in. It has to be 1920 by 1080 for like the bigger ones when you go to publish it on like the thing. But for this, it doesn't really matter the size. And then you literally, once you add it, you just drag it onto it. And then it gets added to that particular thing. What I did personally was I went and had added the green screen one from the movie prop as the particular one that I used. So it was already green screen. But that is one thing that you can do to be able to add your own image. Most important thing when it comes to that, you cannot put your supported creator code in your maps. 
it, it, you are not allowed to do that. They took it out of the prefab devices. You cannot do that. So do not include that in your name anywhere on your map or it will not get approved. Uh, you cannot make remakes of maps. So you cannot make any of the chapter maps that Fortnite's made because that's all copyrighted content. You cannot use copyrighted content. So if you made like a terminal map, it cannot be exact duplicate. You can you have to name it something else and you cannot do copyrighted stuff. So when you're publishing a map, make sure it's unique, your version, not copying someone else's because it will not get approved. But that is how you do it. Remember these three steps. Get everything and all the settings how you want it. Use a session to be able to edit within the game settings and all that like you normally would with like click by clicking along session. It's easier to do it that way. There's a little bit of the creative 1.0 and then you can combine it with the 2.0. And then once you've got that and got that started and you put into a test code, remember the second step is to do launch memory calculation. Once you've done that, the last step is to go ahead and click publish and fill out that information. And then it takes usually within a couple hours for it to be approved. So if you guys have questions on that process, let me know. Put down below. Thank you for watching my tutorial and hope you guys have a blessed evening and a great week. Toodaloo.